Welcome back. Today we get to talk about the Cree XHP 50.2 3-volt LED. For those of you who do not already know, XHP 50.2 is the highest powered LED Cree makes on a 5mm footprint. And we've been able to get these in 6 volt for a long time, which has been great. Don't get me wrong, it's much better than 12 volt, but the thing that I have been dreaming about is a 3 volt emitter because using 6 volt emitters is pretty hard in a small flashlight, especially if you want to use a single 18650 cell. Uh, with the 6 volt option, your choices are either go to two small cells or a boost driver, which are typically hard to find, very expensive, and underpowered, so this is fantastic. Uh, I decided that for our test today, we're going to use one of my favorite lights, and that is the Convoy C8 Plus. From the factory, it is a decent performer. It comes with Cree XPL high intensity and is factory rated at about a thousand lumens. For the modified lights, I built out two more. I built one with a dome on XHP 50.2 and then I also built one that is a dome off. If you're not aware, the reason for doing dome off, for slicing that top off, is uh, not to gain lumens. You actually lose a little bit of total lumens, but you gain a lot of distance. It makes your beam tighter, and it also lowers the color temperature slightly on the LED. The first thing I did for my test was I checked the sample I had in hand of the factory light, and I got 998 out the front lumens at 30 seconds. Uh, next, I just only switched the LED to the 3 volt 50.2 and tested it with the factory 3 amp driver and that gave me 1130 lumens. So that, that's a little bit of a gain, you know, 13% or whatever, but not really much. I mean, you could gain that by probably by going to a, a dome on XPL and not the high intensity. You could, so that's not really that big of a deal. But where this LED really starts to shine is when I switched out to the MOSFET driver. Doing that gave me huge gains because it gave me huge amperage. You, you, if you're doing this, you need to make absolutely sure you're using a battery that is qualified for the job because when I checked this, I got 13.2 amps at the tail cap. So if you're wondering, um, Sony VTC6 is a good cell choice for that. Uh, they're well able to handle that current and more. So going to that setup in my Convoy C8 Plus, I got... 3,341 out the front lumens at 30 seconds. That's pretty darn good for a single emitter light, I think. I also did the uh, Candela test, that is our, our range test, and here are the numbers that I got for that. By now, some of you are probably thinking, what about the tail switch, Matt? I'm glad you asked. Um, the tail switch in the C8 Pluses are pretty robust. They, it's a good switch, and you can run a lot of current over them, but not 13 amps. I mean, you can for a little while, but eventually that switch is going to fail. So I went ahead and made some of my own switches. These are a zero resistance type switch, uh, similar to, I think, Overready. It makes for Surefire. Um, I had to take out all the internal parts of the switch and bore out where the threads were and that kind of stuff. So it is a permanent mod, but this way I can use one of my copper springs and this brass plug and put as much current over it as I want to. The numbers that I gave you a minute ago are with that switch on. Uh, using the standard switch, I did I did try it just to see, and I got you know a few hundred lumens lower. Uh, but it's just going to kill this switch, so this was really a must. Uh, the way this works, if you don't know, is it's still basically a push button switch. You get momentary from the tail cap. You can push the tail switch and get it to come on and shift your modes. Um, and when you want to keep the light on, you twist the tail cap and lock it down. 
That way you still get all the basic functions of a tail switch, but you don't have to worry about the one amp rated <laughs> switch failing on you down the road. And speaking of down the road, something I've been meaning to tell you guys, um, lights like this, like this is, this I just made for fun, you know, so we could all see what this LED does. It's a nice custom light, but it's not something I intend to sell on my website. I just can't, I can't always just, you know, start a new product line every time I think it's something to make. I just don't have time. But um, I do sell some of these light. Well, I sell most of these lights. Um, what you can do if you want a chance to get lights that you've seen in my videos, the, the one-off custom stuff, is you can follow me on eBay. There'll be a link in the description. Just click on that and you look at my profile right here and there's that heart shape next to my head. Yes, that's that's me. I'm Vesture of Blood. That's my name on the flashlight forums. And I signed up for all these accounts back when I was still into gaming. So, but anyway, just click that right there and you could follow me on eBay. And I'll also try to mention it in the videos. But what I'll do is post links and these will each go up for auction. Um, I sell a lot of other just like the lights you see in my videos. If you notice this back here, like that pretty much is my collection right there. Other than some surefires that I have that you don't see right there. I don't have a big collection because when I have my choice, what I prefer to collect is money. <laughs> All right. Seriously, though, you can get some crazy good deals because a lot of those lights people sent to me for review. For example, the other day I sold my $230 new knee walker that had only been used for the review. I put it on there and it sold for like $65 or something. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so great deal for somebody, not, you know, not so much for me, but at least, you know, somebody's getting use out of it. There's no reason for it to just sit there and die on a shelf. So awesome. Uh, congratulations to whoever got that. Also, if I was going to ask you guys, if, if you could do me a huge favor, any of you that have my products, like you got one of my Maglite drop-ins or anything else from me, if you could leave a review, um, if you bought it on eBay or on my website, because I have, there's like thousands of these things sold and you look and there's like five reviews. So that would be so awesome. If you guys could do that, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, let's go see some beam shots. All right, beginning with our original C8 with the XPL high. Nice laser sword. Now we'll jump to the dome on XHP 50.2. Some smoke you're seeing there because we had a we're burning earlier. Now let's go to the D domed 50.2. Nice color on that. about halfway back in my yard. Let's scoot back a ways and see how it goes. Our XPL high. XHP 50.2 dome on. fifty point two D dome. We'll 
go ahead and shoot through here at the old barn. Here's our original C8 Plus. Now the Domon XHP50. Now our D-domed. Just crystal clear visual on that. <laughs> now, don't forget, if you want to get one of these lights, the exact ones you saw right here, they're the link to the auction is below. If you want to get one, you got to get it right there because this is not a product that I'm making for my store, especially those switches. Those took forever to make. I don't even have one saved back for me. So uh, anyway, thanks a lot, guys, for watching and good luck.